How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Where last we left, Al was stuck inside of some sort of sand castle with pride. Olivier can't seem to stop stabbing people in the wrist, and also there's zombies now. So honestly, not looking great. Things have looked better, for sure, but... I do kind of like the show throwing so many different obstacles at me. It's cool, there's definitely a ton of tension ramping up in this final arc of the show, and I'm excited to see how it pays off. So, let's get into it. Oh my god, hold up, it's the final theme song! This has to be the last one, there's like 14 episodes left. Alright, that's crazy, here we go. I'm not gonna play any of it uh, because of copyright nonsense, but I'm gonna watch it on my own, and then I'll report back to you guys with my thoughts. Wow, okay, so it's the worst one. 100% the worst theme song all across the board. It's slow, there's no little rap segment, the visuals are boring as hell. I want to reiterate, as I have to do every time Full Metal Alchemist throws a new theme song at me, that my taste in music is terrible. I listen to maybe six songs each year. One of those is Numb by Linkin Park, the other is Mr. Boombastic by Shaggy. So take everything that I say musically with a grain of salt. However, I will say, I do not care for this final theme. Especially when compared to all of the other themes. The visuals are nowhere near as hype as the last ones, and the song is nowhere near as catchy as the first two. Anyway, 2 out of 10, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, that's right, Zombie Army. I don't know how I keep forgetting about this basement full of no moves, but boy oh boy do they keep sneaking up on me. I even made a mental note to be sure to mention them in the intro of this video, but the second I did, their relevancy just flew right out of my head. Every time they show up, my brain has to do a little, oh, that's right, they're zombies now moment. <laughs> Indeed, yes! I am your father, son! This guy's getting way too attached to his zombies right now. Finally, we have our immortal legion at long last! Papa! Oh! And they called me daddy! Papa! You men have a job to do! Oh, now he's getting way too attached to his zombies! Yeah, you know, that's the thing about children, man. You can raise them, love them, teach them right from wrong. At the end of the day, just end up eating your heart out. Yeah, you know, in your neck, and your kidneys. <laughs> Bitch, what are you doing? Waiting your turn? Get out of there! You just watched 30 zombies eat Wario. Run! <laughs> Look, on one hand, yeah, that's horrifying. But on the other hand, it's like, yeah, guys, you made zombies. What did you think would happen? Look, I'll admit that them calling you daddy was a curveball, but did you think they wouldn't eat people? And who is this? Number 66, Barry the Chopper. Oh, poor Barry. Barry! Barry! Why'd you have to go? Why'd they have to take you, Barry? Also... Why did nobody take Barry? Nobody changed anything about this room after Barry and Lust died? Nobody came to clean it up? That's kind of fucked. Somebody show Barry some respect. Ah, it's open. I never, I'm never ready for the zombies. I never expect zombies. They were literally on screen two minutes ago. Yet the second they showed up in the same scene as Edward, my brain was just like, Zombies? What? You're going to shoot? <laughs> this lady stabs people in the worst fucking places. Don't stab somebody in the wrist. Don't stab somebody in the top of the foot. What are you, an animal? We'll kill every last one of you. All you mountain savages. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's right. Sloth is in this show. I feel like that's becoming my catchphrase every time I see this guy. Because I feel the exact same way about Sloth as I do with the zombies. I want Sloth to just steal the show for the rest of the arc. He's like hardly been a presence in this show at all. So I want the next few episodes to be an absolute exhibition of what Sloth is capable of. Oh dear. Mess. I made a mess. 
Oh, well, it's certainly an exhibition of his manners. What a kind gentleman. What are these things? How should I know? And why won't they die? Hey, Ed, are you gonna alchemy something or are you just gonna stand here and get swarmed? Do you guys remember at the beginning of this series, there was a dude who could summon cannons out of the ground? Why does that shit never happen anymore? How did Ed never learn that move? You know how useful whipping out a bunch of cannons in the middle of a fight would be? Sorry, I guess I just cut off our exit. Don't worry about it. You're locked in a room full of immortal zombies, my dude. It's not like you guys were handling things better when you did have an exit. And now we can really take these guys on. Yeah, you said it, Zapano. Now that all these things are trapped here with us, we can really show our stuff. This is gonna be good. You're trapped in here with them. Hey, guess what? They can't die. You guys can die. That's a sweet compliment, but he's very clearly a man. Like, that's a cool thing to say over the comms, but there's no way anyone's mistaking Colonel Clampsaw over here for an actual bear. I've been hearing that damn sound since yesterday. Hey, Alphonse, what's all that rocket in there? Salim's been playing with my head. Stop him, Alphonse. Don't give him a way to entertain himself. Did you forget that he sucks? <gasps> Stop him, Alphonse! <gasps> yeah, stop him ten hours ago! He's been broadcasting our location! <laughs> I liked my sloth idea better, to be honest. Him signaling for Kimley is so, like, weirdly random feeling. Like, if sloth showed up underground because of these noises, I, that just would have been so sick to me. Especially since they established that sloth's main power is digging. <laughs> What's going on, Envy? It looks like you tricked me! He what? Oh my god, I can't even believe it! The immortal demon who's been trying to kill you this entire time tricked you? What a meanie! <laughs> okay? Is that... <laughs> is that good or bad? He's just ate Envy. Is this a win for Team Elric? I'm back! Oh, it's bad. Super bad. Definitely a loss for Team Elric. Wow, cool. This is significantly worse than when Envy was a dinosaur. Great going, May. Oh, never mind. I guess it's significantly the same as when Envy was a dinosaur. Still not loving May's decisions here, though. It's not like it's cannibalism. We are a collective. We were both born with <gasps> the same father. Well, at least he gave Al his head back. It's not like he needs it anymore, anyway. Not loving the decisions made by anybody at the moment. Damn it! Ugh. Let me go! Oh. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, why you? Oh, he hit him with the why you! That's like cursing for Al. Get him real mad and he might even whip out the why I oughta. What's that? <laughs> I should have known that wouldn't work. Yeah, sure. Put the gun away. This is clearly a job for a sword. I love how everybody always gives the Avengers shit for having Hawkeye on the team, but everyone's completely fine with pretending that swords are sometimes better than guns. Like, anime has just completely tricked everybody into thinking that there are some situations where a sword is actually preferable to a gun. Please tell me that at least it's something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if multiple direct shots from a tank didn't do anything, I don't know why a hand grenade would. Yeah. That did way more than the tank did! Hello, sister! Are you alright? <laughs> Major Alexander Tank Fist Armstrong, it's about time you showed up! Now we can finally win the war! Who do you think I am? Of course I'm all right. You're the one who was just getting squished by a personified biblical metaphor. All right, put the sass away. That is my specialty. Why don't you let your brother have a crack at it? 
Now take this atrocity down. This is a fight I never knew I needed to see. When bullets and tank missiles were bouncing off of Sloth, why did it never occur to me that Armstrong was the solution? I have something that might be useful. <gasps> Mr. Heinkel! I completely forgot that this guy had a Philosopher's Stone. Wow, I'm not good at my job. This whole video has just been me forgetting shit about this show. By the way, how is this the first time he's bringing this shit up? Fuck cannons! Do you know how useful whipping out a Philosopher's Stone mid-fight would be? We can finally get Zed! But... Yeah, I know. These are made using human lives, aren't they? Who cares? A world war has literally just started. If we could wrap this shit up ASAP, that would be great. I think all the souls used in that stone would agree that that's probably the best course of action. The two of them are still trapped somewhere in the bowels of the cloud. And without his legs, how can he possibly escape? God, did Kim Lee, did you just lose another fucking hat? Dude, you need a new damn head accessory, I swear to God. Yo! Yo, fuck Zed, we just got Zalphons! Alphonse Elric is the most badass six-year-old in television history. Dude, when the drums started kicking in, that shit was hype. Dude, that was so hype, I'm not even doing a Patreon plug. Fuck you, I don't need your money, I got Zalphons. Please though, I cannot stress enough, I do- I would like your money. I do have a Patreon. I won't make a plug out of it. Check it out if you want to help support the channel. I'm so I'm sorry I was so rude. On to the next one. A philosopher's stone. But where did he find one? <laughs> dust in our eyes again. Yeah, I'll give him the old dust in the eyes. <laughs> Oh, this episode's about to have that good animation, all right. You know this episode's gonna be wild because shit's turning into cubes. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him the old bendy sword. The sword equivalent of the old dust in the eyes. A flash bomb! A decoy! Oh, the second flash bomb! The grenade equivalent of the old dust in the eyes! Why do all of Al's moves involve blinding his opponent? I have to choose between returning to our original bodies and saving everyone. But why can't we have our real bodies back and save everyone? You are asking the wrong guy that question. Al, this is the man you're trying to save everyone from. It's not fair! Why can't I have my old body back and save everyone? Um... Because of me. Oh, yeah, right. But it's the law of equivalent exchange. Oh, shut up! Not everything is alchemy. It's a metaphorical law. It's not actually enforced by the government. So if you can discover an exception to the rule, you can effectively rewrite the laws of nature as we understand them. Is that how it's supposed to go? Kimley just wants to kick your ass. He's not trying to come up with some new law of nature. Just wants his body back and to beat you up. Oh! Yeah, for sure, man. I hear Dying has horrible reviews. Bad Rotten Tomato score, that's for sure. Pretty sure Dying has like a 10% on the thermometer. All right, General Armstrong, throw down your weapon. What the... what the hell is that huge thing? Whoa. First off, that huge thing is Alexander Armstrong. You will put some goddamn respect on... Oh, they're talking about Sloth, aren't they? What was that? Super unsloth like, that's what that was. Are we sure we've been calling this dude the right sin? Or animal? I am the fastest homunculus of them all. I like how sloth's power is like a bit. Like it's weird that he's the only homunculus whose power is literally irony. Oh, you like the old dust in the eyes? Well, here comes its sequel!
Okay, Al, seriously, you gotta come up with a new move. I was being supportive before, but it's getting a little ridiculous. You, got, you gotta try something else. And I don't wanna see another dust in the eyes equivalent. It's an attack from behind! Whoa, what a fucking attack from behind. Super wasn't expecting a fucking lion to eat his neck, that's for sure. Well, Al, I gave you some feedback and you took the criticism like a champ. I, I gotta respect you for that. How could he move with those injuries? <laughs> Dr. Marco! Oh, that's so smart. They gave the stone to the doctor so he could heal him? They said it was an ice cream truck, right? That's right. So keep your eyes sharp. Hmm. This alchemy stuff, it really is handy, isn't it? Pursuing a vehicle sounds fucking impossible in this world. If you could just change the vehicle you're in mid-chase, how does anybody pursue anyone? What a gentle little bite. That was the most delicate little zombie bite I've ever seen. Honestly, that wasn't even a bite. That was a, that was a nom. A munch, even. I'm gonna kill you quickly. And then sleep. This poor guy just wants to take a nap. And like, fair. There's no reason this dude shouldn't be allowed to take a snooze by now. He's just been working so hard. He's been digging holes, running into tank missiles, beating up alchemists. Even when he's not doing dangerous shit, Bradley has him just standing in the corner of a room for hours on end, and it's like... Dog, my boy can't even get a chair? This dude needs to take a load off. Yo, can this thing, like, eat Kimli already? Just, like, eat him. Snap his neck. Let's get a villain off the board here. Oh, they hit Selim with a car! I said let's get a villain off the board here, not off of the road, guys! I got you! <laughs> I really got you! <laughs> wow. Look at Yoki doing the bare minimum to remain relevant as a character here. Is Kim Lee dead? Because that so wasn't the bounce of a living man. But humans are easy to do. <laughs> No way Kimley didn't die from that bounce alone. He landed on his neck so hard I thought his spine was gonna come out of his asshole. Because you will continue to live inside me. What are you, fucking Kirby? Why do you keep eating people? Are we sure this isn't gluttony? Because he do be snacking. Salim's about to be rolling up to Sloth next, like, You better change your name to Broth, bitch, because I'm gonna drink you like a soup. Alex. Oh, never mind. Terrible timing on my part. Did I say Broth? <laughs> I meant Cloth. Because Armstrong tore this bitch to shreds. Wow. Horrific imagery. All right, let's all settle down here. There's no reason anyone's got to start eating pillars and regenerating limbs right now. Maybe I could lend you a hand. Full metal. Oh boy, Hydra Sprinklers. No, seriously, Hydra Sprinklers. I don't want must damp weighing us down. And that is episodes 51 and 2 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It is finally ramped up. I know the past, like, dozen episodes, we were ramping. We're ramped. Consider us officially ramped. The zombies are in play. I'll never forget them again. Mustang has shown up to the one room in the entire city that doesn't have a sprinkler system. Sloth is fighting. So is Armstrong. So that's sick. All of the pieces that we've had on the board are finally slotting into their rightful puzzle places. So as always, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, what your favorite jokes from the video were as well. And I will see you guys next time. Hold on to me, baby. Won't you come a little closer when I live for